The Quran on Embryology Professor Keith Moore is one of the world's prominent scientists in the fields of anatomy and embryology and is the author of the book entitled The Developing Human, which has been translated into eight languages. The book is considered a scientific reference work and was chosen by the Special Committee in the United States as the best book authorized by one person. Dr. Keith Moore is the Professor of Anatomy and Cell Biology at the University of Toronto in Toronto, Canada. In 1984, he received the most distinguished award presented in the field of anatomy in Canada, the JCB Grant Award from the Canadian Association of Anatomists. He has directed many international associations such as the Canadian and American Association of Anatomists and the Council of the Union of Biological Sciences. Let's now listen to what Professor Keith Moore has to say about the revelations found in the Quran 1400 years ago and what science has only recently been able to find out through detailed investigation. In the 1940s, uh, Professor Streeter of the Carnegie Institute of Embryology in Washington, D.C. proposed a system for classifying the stages of human development. His system arranged human embryos in 23 numbered sta stages based on their difference, differences in appearance. The Carnegie system of classification was used around the world until the 1970s when a more refined system was proposed by Dr. Ronan O'Reilly of the Carnegie Institute of Embryology, now in San Diego, California. Intensive studies of the Quran and Hadith in the last four years have revealed a system for classifying human embryos that is amazing since it was recorded in the 7th century AD. Although Aristotle, the founder of the science of embryology, realized that chick embryos developed in stages from his studies of hen's eggs in the 4th century BC, he did not give any details about these stages. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. He could not have known such details because he was an illiterate man with absolute, absolutely no scientific training. The first uh, stage is ad ad adapt, and you'll have to apologize my, for my pronunciation. Uh, this is from Surah uh, Tariq 6. He is created from a drop emitted. This Arabic term refers to the forceful emission of fluids which occurs during ejaculation in the male and ovulation in the female. The male secretions called semen, contain the spermatozoa, and the female secretions, called follicular fluid, contain the ovum. This is the stage of fertilization and the uh, nutva, and after the, this is what we call the, the zygote, uh, referred to in the Quran as the nutva, and the nutva undergoes uh, division, which we call cleavage, as it passes down the uterine tube. So these are the stages of the nutva here as it undergoes uh, cell division. Uh, it is, this term is used several times in the Quran when referring to the beginning of development. After examining all these references, it is concluded that nutva ref refers to the small drop of fluid containing the sperm and the ovum. The term nutva is also used to refer to the dividing zygote as it undergoes cleavage cell division and passes along the uterine tube to enter the uterus. This surah says, then he made his progeny from a quintessence of the nature of fluid despised. Sulala is an Arabic term, refers to the gentle extraction of the germ or sex cells from the millions that are uh, produced. 